Hello and welcome to the 2021 edition of Social Distractions. So much going on in the news and in the media. So we just got a few of our favorite people together to just catch up on the topics and find out what's going on as we lead into the 2021 year. Hopefully we're leaving that 2020 energy behind. Everybody got rid of all their haters. And now 2021 is to the bag. So we're starting off the year talking about some of the things that are going on in the media, in the industry, still COVID outside. So unfortunately, we can't be in the studio together. We're all coming from a remote location. Yeah. So, but we miss you guys. We love you guys. And we want to bring you something. Is that a diaper? <laughs> <laughs> so we want to bring you guys something just to let you know we still love you and spark everything back up like it was before everything got shut down. My name is Mike Mizzle, and I am one of your hosts. Today, we'll be uh, facilitating some of the conversation but we also have the wonderful and amazing cecily jamila right there we have tony p here and my first time on the show with him we have ryan Lumet. uh let's just get started let's just jump right in with the situation ryan we're gonna go straight to you and ask you where is your silhouette challenge we know you got one where it's, is it? it it's stuck in my beard listen <laughs> <laughs> it's you know if you if you don't know what the silhouette challenge is, it's it's the challenge where you know uh, you start off regular dressed in a doorway or something, and then you I guess hit the lights and everything goes red. Look, see there you go, Mike. Get it, Mike. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it's like you're doing a seductive type dance or something, and it's it's gone crazy because the women are killing it. Yeah. But. But the issue is the men have killed it because some jerk decided or, or realized, hey, I could take the uh, the red out of this picture and now I can see your silhouette or what you was silhouetting. So you know? ladies do not get totally naked if you do the challenge. You can remove the red and see all the goodies. So yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, and the jerk decided to post them all on Twitter and wow. yeah, like this, some some ladies became porn stars overnight, you know. And and in case you're wondering, I did the silhouette challenge. I took it down because guess what? I have a girlfriend, and she was like, "Uh uh-uh. uh, really?" Uh, she she was like, "Well, <laughs> she was like, if you want to, wow. but." And I say, you know what? It was Uh-oh. if, if uh-huh. you know if any man who has a woman, if your woman says, "Well, if you want to, don't do it." That's a dare, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, I right think, thing. I, that, absolutely. That, trans, that translates to "I wish you would." I think absolutely. That's absolutely, what that means in Spanish. Absolutely. I wish you freaking would. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Now, I saw that too, and I'm like, these guys have to know, like, it's a filter. So it's just contrast and hues. So anything that can be done can be undone. They should make a filter where we can remove women's makeup, and then <laughs> so we can see what they really look like. So if you're out there listening, Mr. Uh, Silhouette Killer, <laughs> help us out. Okay, give us, a, give us, tell us how to take the makeup off in the picture so we can see what we were really doing, you know, before we, before we go on our day. Wow. <laughs> Hilarious. But you know what? I, I love how people like decided, you know what? I'm just going to have fun with it. Like there was a lady, it was a, it was a lady, she was real skinny and she was doing it, and then when she hit the lights and it was red, she had drawn a stick figure on a piece of paper and was like had it dancing, you know. Um, I mean, people got real creative with it, you know, and and so you know it it, it was good, then it got bad, and then the people are now starting to have fun with it again. So, yeah. you know, if you don't know the silhouette challenge, you know, and also another question people have been bringing up is what song is that? I didn't know it was a song by Doja Cat. That beat is dope. Is it really? Yeah, it's called Streets by Doja Cat. But it's a sample of an old song, though, right? Put your head on my shoulder. Put your head on my shoulder. Your silhouette turned to the See You Wet challenge and sending it to their uh, bosses. And so, yeah, it didn't go well. Silhouette. <laughs> see You Wet. Yeah, I, I seen some yeah. ones on there that, 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 that belong on the OnlyFans page. Like, yeah, yeah. What about uh, Tiffany Haddish and Khan? We, what we're all your, we're all like your fans. One. You know what? I I said okay. You know what? I love them I together. Yes. Yeah. I, I love them beautiful. together. You know, I, I've I've seen hate on both sides, and I'm like, come on, man. Like, just just let let love be love. You, you know what would have been okay. would have been funny okay, if, uh, if they would have did the silhouette challenge to one of Erica Badu's songs. <laughs> <laughs> so soon. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, Tony, Tony P, since you are trying to pretend like we don't see your entire set, 
moving. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and go to you because, by the way, you are looking brilliant in whatever setup you got going on right now. You're looking like you just came from the spa. What's going on in the restaurant world? The inside dining, outside dining. You can eat inside as long as the inside's outside. Like, how do you feel about that? I think it's absolutely crazy because it's like you're still outside and you're still around a bunch of people, so you're kind of enclosed. So germs and stuff still can flow, you know, to and from, but you're just outside. And um, it's really crazy in L.A. because, you know, uh, my experience that I found out recently is when they opened up the city, they said this restaurants were able to be opened up on Monday. But that did not apply to all the restaurants in L.A. That was not L.A. County. So that was the outer counties. So L.A. County wasn't able to officially open up until um, Friday. Hmm. So um, I had my experience with that. And a lot of these places aren't really opening up to February 7th. So, um, and, and, and I was going to say, the caution people, like when you're making these reservations, if you're not looking, the, these reservations are set up, they'll take them, but the places may not actually be open. So you may want to call and double check. Um, but to answer your question, Mike, it, it's really crazy. I don't see like uh, how businesses are going to survive because you just can't pick up and go when they say that you can open, you got to get staffing, you got to get food, you got to get bartenders. So it's kind of hard just to kind of just pick up from nothing and just start to run a business, open the restaurant back up. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of, I, agree. I think a lot of businesses are going to fail. I think what's going to be the test is uh, Valentine's day, because a lot of people want to get mm -hmm. out of the house and do stuff on Valentine's day. It won't be enough reservations to accommodate everybody. So I think that's going to be a shit show within itself. Speaking uh, of Ryan, so what are you doing for Valentine's day? Uh, quarantining. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, um, I got I got some stuff planned. Uh, gonna got a hotel up in um, up towards Oxnard, and uh, yeah, you know, go going privately quarantine. We, I'm a silhouette challenge. That's what. Just... Not Oxnard. <laughs> Sound a lot like a white van and some duct tape for a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, the only reason why she can hear me, and it's a surprise. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Fix it. Clean it up. Clean it up. Yeah. Clean it up. <laughs> but it oh, might be some duct tape yeah. involved. Hey, well, Tony, I if I'm lucky. Tell her I said share her location. Yeah. <laughs> duct tape her up. Yeah. <laughs> Find my well, phone. That's what he... <laughs> okay. Okay. Find my wife app. <laughs> Hilarious. Yep, Cecily, looking beautiful as usual. How you doing? How you doing? I am good. How are you? I'm, I'm also. I'm out here in my new mobile office, sponsored by uh, Pink's Hot Dogs, uh, giving me this amazing front light that's washing me completely out. But I just <laughs> congratulations got for home, so. <laughs> this is my first sponsorship. They don't know it yet. I'll tell them when they open. <laughs> but what's going on with you? Tell me something that's grinding your gears right now during this pandemic. Uh, wow. I've just been sitting here praying Bible study every day, you know, just really doing the Lord's work <laughs> and watching and watching the news, watching the news. I, um, made some money last week. I don't know if you guys know about the whole wall street bets thing and the meme stocks and stuff and all the craziness attached to that. Robin hood basically just halted trades, shut down <laughs> trades and allow people to sell or by um, an effort to drive down the price. And I think that they were effective because, I mean, all those meme stocks are pretty low right now. But the thing is, I think one thing that's great about it is that a lot of people became interested in the stock market. I, I saw on uh, rooms on Clubhouse full of people, especially people of color that want to learn how to get in the game and how to figure out this whole stock thing. I was watching that. I really had no clue what was going on. Because only yeah. stock I got is like it's beef stock, chicken stock <laughs> at home. But I call my wow. son. There are no my tickets son's on Robin Hood. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no tickets in that. But my, my and, go ahead. I was gonna say he's the generation that was really affected. It was like all these young guys who are not on that path to go to Wall Street to become investment bankers kind of felt like we're sticking it to the man by pretty much you know inflating the price and making money. There's a lot of people who woke up on Wednesday millionaires that were not. The day prior. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're looking, they're, they're treating it like betting, like gambling, like they're yeah. gambling with the stock. Right. And I, but I thought it was really a, um, a slap in the face when the hedge funds and Wall Street then got an attitude and then start crying, woe is me, 
for mm-hmm. when you know Joe and regular Joe Schmo outsmarted them at their own game. So I thought it was Amen. great that this guy came out this week. Um, I don't know his I don't know his name, but he came out this weekend pretty much pulled the curtain back on the hedge fund companies and said, "Look, yo, yo, you may play by the rules." During the market season, but when it comes time to close out and you still gotta make your make your um, order, mm-hmm. you guys are finessing the market and driving down stocks and doing all the same things that they just did to you guys, and you guys have been doing it for years and been making millions of dollars off of it. So why all of a sudden now these guys get one get one one stock up one up on you, and now all of yeah. a sudden you know I think it's the pot calling the kettle. And what was interesting is that both Democrats and Republicans were saying the same thing. A lot of them invest in the stock market too, but mm-hmm. I mean, it was like this was an issue. We all were on the same side, and it's just like it, it goes to show that there's the market, and then there's everyone else. Right. And the the SEC announced that they're actually going to look for people that uh, that were encouraging people to buy the stock. So they're going to go after them versus going after Robinhood and all the other trading platforms because Robinhood wasn't the only one. Um, there were other trading platforms that did that as well because people moved. They move from platform to platform trying to figure out ways to make money. So um, I thought it interesting that the SEC is not going to do anything to them, but they are going to go after the little people who are posting stuff online. I'm like, good luck, because there's millions of people. Yeah. Out there, you know what I mean? And the guy yeah. who owns Prebets, the Reddit uh, board, actually sold his life story this past weekend to somebody. So he'll have enough money to fight in court. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, yeah. he could he could fight it. He could fight it. And to and anybody that's watching, please don't go out and run out and buy a bunch of that Dodge <laughs> stock because that's like it's not gonna it's happen. Not. It's not gonna happen again immediately like that. Get in, learn, yeah, learn the ropes, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to do short and, and and all that, and then really do it for real and not try to jump on a bandwagon and lose your life savings because you have you know that EDD money only gonna go so far. Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Three hundred so, extra. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, speaking of watching the news, um, I was watching the news as well, and I saw this story that um, it, it, it just it made me really think, like, how, like how far have we come? Uh, the story says the police uh, come to the scene, and they end up manhandling a nine-year-old, nine-year-old African-American girl. She's mm-hmm. screaming for her, for, for her dad, uh, and like, they've got like, a swarm of cops out there, and they end up pepper spraying her, not because she was... Uh, 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 unmanageable. She was in the back seat of the car, and the guy just mm-hmm. literally reaches around and pepper sprays her. And I think that may have been the second time he did it. And I, yeah. for me, I'm just like, so what? What did we march for? What were we, what were we marching for? Was it for just for the president, or was it actually change? Because that really hurt my soul to watch and to mm-hmm. listen to her scream for her dad. Wow. Yeah, her mother was there and she was acting up, I think, and I think her, I think her mom might have called. Her mom was the one that called yeah. the police on her. That's yeah. why yeah. that's why I I I I don't like that they pepper spray, but I'm like, well, like cuz she's calling for her dad. I'm sorry to jump on top of you like that. No, so, no, so no. Jump. No, go ahead. But uh her her mom was the one that called, mm-hmm. you know, and she's screaming for her dad. That's like you know, I have kids, and that's like if I'm whooping my son, he's like, I want my mama. Yeah. It's like, okay, you only want your mom because I'm on that ass right now. You exactly. know, so that's why I, I, in a sense, I didn't feel bad, you know, because it, it was almost like, you know, a lot of times us as parents, as we say F them kids, you know what I mean? And so whatever she did to warrant the, her mom calling the police on her, I'm not saying she deserved to get pepper sprayed. But she was obviously acting out in a way that her mother couldn't control. So, you know. So this is my thing. Um, I feel like there's some issues there at the household. And mm-hmm. mom is pregnant, right? And I feel like maybe there's a, maybe there's a custody issue with the parents. Or there's something going on there because dad's not physically in the household. Mm-hmm. And I, but he, they say that the girl had a, acted out a few months prior or whatever. Well, if you call the police on your nine-year-old child, you've lost control at that point and whatever happens, happens. And if it's a mental health issue, why not drive her ass to the hospital? That's my thing. I'm thinking like, why would you call the police on your daughter and think that they were going to handle it, it, handle her with care? You know, it just seemed like I'm looking at mom like, why would you do that? That makes no sense to me. In this climate, like Mike was saying, like anything could happen. And she's not a small child. She she had a little Mm -hmm. size to her too, but you know, they were really wrestling with <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, she wasn't like, a little kid. <laughs> like a grown woman up there in the, in the snow. I was like, 
she got a little weight on her. You know what I mean? It took a little, <laughs> it took a little something. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not laughing. I, um, I think, go ahead. No. <laughs> like no. She had a little, she had a little no. weight on her, so she just look. Hey, I didn't say that. I said that she was a big girl. That's not and, that you know, Tony. Tony, that's not what she said. That's not I what didn't. I said. Because okay. if the woman is pregnant, and she said that I, I'm not. We don't know for sure, but that the girl threatened her and her unborn sibling, mm -hmm. and that's that, why I called because she was like, she said okay. she gonna kill me and the baby. Okay, got it. But it's so many different stories, so it's like we don't know what really happened. Okay. Yeah, I, I, for me, I'm just like, for me, I want, I want us, I want us to find a middle ground. Like, I, I just feel like there's not enough heavy set aunties around right now. That's, just, that's what <laughs> oh. was missing in the story. It was just absolutely a good, a good heavy set auntie that come over absolutely. there and just give a quick look, bop, 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 and then that's what was up. <laughs> Like, you know, you call your uncle, and they come over yeah. there and give you a quick little, yeah. and it's like, I'm sorry to everybody, and I want yeah. to be a pastor, and I want to, you know, so, but I just really want us to, to find a middle ground, because we, yeah, right. we've seen time and time again that the that police are not, not that they're not trained to do so, I'm sure they're not trained well, but they're not even interested in, in, in de-escalating or dealing mm -hmm. with mental health issues, emotional distress issues. Mm -mm. It, Anything like that. This one that one officer just got just got indicted for murder for killing a black man in his garage because the neighbor said he started his car he started his car too many times. I feel like for me, the bigger question is what 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 legislation is gonna come out of this? Like you know what I'm saying? We did mm -hmm. all this to make sure that the person that you guys wanted to be president is president. And so now you guys uh are, now that they're in there, now that you guys is president is in there, mm. and you know what I'm saying, and he's got he's got sister girl with him, and she's got all this, she got all the pinks and the greens and the purples and the reds and all <laughs> that going on and the HBCU and all that behind her and all the ski weeds, all the ski weeds, all the ski weeds and everything, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about, and, and all that going on. Not, I mean, not to diminish all the wonderful things that that fraternity sororities have done. Mm. Now that we have all those things in place, are we actually going to see legislation? Are we going to actually see them get rid of? These special counsels that protect these police officers and help skew the skew the charges so that these guys can get off and really see some some change in in law enforcement. Whereas though you can have a situation and the, the police are going to come and do their job. You know, what I, mean? I just feel like I feel like we should. I thought like we should our own communities. Not this. Not saying that uh, uh, black cops are better than white cops or there's a you mm -hmm. know. Just, but I just feel like I just feel like we speak our language. Like that's like I'm saying I'm gonna blow up. I blow this grocery store up. I don't have anything to make a bomb. Right. I can't really right. blow the store up. But I'm just I'm right. saying I'm upset to the point where I wish something. You know what I mean? So and be, right. I, honestly, I that's it's, what it's, you're it was, saying, Mike. That's what you're saying. If we were to go to a black neighborhood or go to a black a school where there's a bunch of black kids, how often would we see somebody a child flip out and now oh, I want to see my mama? You know, like we would probably see that a lot often. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like there's a well, different type often. of fear. That would, you know, that you would if deploy to a child like that that has kind of act right. out. These white cops may have never seen anything like this and said this child needs to be restrained. And you know what I'm saying? Like it's like pairing these types of children up with people who have tools because this is a very common thing. I grew up with kids who would do shit like this, and you like you just mm -hmm. walk around. I'm like, oh, I hate when they do that. You know what I mean? Like. You know, right. it's not pepper spray right. words. It's not throw you in the back of the car, beat you in right. the security. You know, it's just. Now, I, I'll say, right. like, we, we didn't see, the, we didn't see the whole video. So we don't know, again, if it yeah. was pepper spray worthy or not. She's nine, but come on. She's nine. Oh, I don't. She's on a real Karen. Real Karen. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> listen, listen. She's on a real Karen. I, I, I took. I took a twenty-three and me. I'm sixty-one percent European. So I, I got. Okay. I got, okay. I got you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Just a bob. But, so. Just but here's the thing. So. But here's the thing. Like again, uh, going back to what you were saying, Mike, about the cops. For one, it, barber school should not be longer than the police academy. That's a fact. Definitely. You know. But also, they they need to do psychological backgrounds because there's a lot of times where people who were bullied as a child become police or join yes. the military. I, yep. I know I know from the military end because there's a lot of kids who join the military who weren't who weren't nothing back home. And so they be they become something to be able to carry a gun. Somebody with authority, you know. And you I feel like a psychological and a deep background check need to be done on these guys. Yeah, and, and women too. You know what I mean? A yeah. lot of I, uh, I my agree. uncle, 
My uncle was a cop, and he used to say, like, the women that would join were the women who, who had something to prove, you know, like, because not because they wanted to do law enforcement, but they wanted to be big and tough and had something to prove. You know, it's like, come on. Wow. That's deep. Yeah. I, and also, too, also, too, like, we've heard a, we've heard a lot of times that there there is there's a nature of that. Like, even if you're not that type of person, there's a mm-hmm. nature of that in a lot of places. I'm not going to say the police force as a whole. But there's a nature of this this discriminatory this 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 uh you know I'm bigger than you above the law type of attitude and so I it goes deeper than that what you said but I agree with you 100 percent I think that's a great start with uh, at least a t- at least two years oh two absolutely years. at least but the thing to weed out the, like a lot of these people go become cops because it's just that easy a lot of people go mm-hmm. and join the military because they can't get a job doing anything else. So you gonna you give somebody that doesn't have the aptitude to work at Subway the right to uh, control someone's life or death, and I think that that's just a mm-hmm. huge mistake. Absolutely. Whoa. Absolutely. So, yeah. so um, recently went through my own uh, police scare. Uh, I'm gonna save that for the next show, but I had someone <laughs> call the police to my home, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they came to my house. Fifteen of them. Uh, me and my son were in trying to find something to watch on Netflix, and next <laughs> thing you know, my door's open. The cops are in my house. And, I got uh, a story uh, too, yeah, bro. I'm going to save that for the next show. <laughs> I got the cops called on me because we were trying yeah. to potty train my son, and he was crying. So people thought I was abusing him. Oh, a whole different story. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I yeah. mean, you're trying to make him pee in a little bowl. That's a, <laughs> a lot going on. I don't know. They might have been, been onto something there. Uh, uh, I'm, not opposed, I'm not opposed to calling the cops. Like, it was funny because, like you said about this generation, my son actually took control of the situation and had uh, and had everything in control. I literally left her, went upstairs, told God there's an issue downstairs. We're going to need management. <laughs> and then I came back. I literally blacked out because the only thing that went through my mind is that is me and my son are about to die together mm-hmm. over some nonsense. And my son, when I kind of blanked back in, my son was like, hey, just handling the situation, talking to the cop. They had a rapport going. And I was like... Whoa! Wow. Okay. I, I didn't even I didn't see that coming, but it was it was it was scary nonetheless. Uh, it was unwarranted, and uh, yeah. So it it happens, man. We got we got to figure a middle ground. We got to figure out a way to diffuse situations amongst each other. Like I said, I'm about to start the the, the big aunties club. So if there's any big aunties out there, text me nine two five two four. That ain't my real number. But text me, <laughs> and uh, we can get you big aunties out here. And get, we get some patrol, like crossing guards with belts. But, uh, yeah. So, what else? Anything else that we need to cover? What's the last thing on our on our document? Yeah, we do. We we have Khloe Kardashian on Twitter using brown emojis, brown woman emojis, browner than all of us actually on this call. Well, does yeah. she, she has the right to depict herself as she sees fit? I think maybe, yeah. Really? I don't use I don't use the correct color emoji either. I use I, I, I do black this all the time. I use I mean, black all the time. I mean, like, when I, I do this all the time. It, I was gonna say it is OJ's daughter. So I mean, wow. <laughs> okay, so so Ryan. Okay, so this is my this is my this is my thought on it. Originally, I really I like I don't get into the whole. I think I feel like the Kardashians have a an uh, an army of haters that no matter mm-hmm. what they did, she could save a puppy. From a, a burning building, and then they'll be like, "Well, why? Why she carry like that? That ain't how you carry right. a puppy. You're supposed to carry it by the fur <laughs> on the neck." So, I get that. I also agree with Tony that people have the right to depict their themselves how they want to. If I decide I'm, I'm for an emoji, I want to use the princess emoji. That might be how I'm feeling today. I just be, might be feeling real light skinned and dainty, and I might want to <laughs> use the princess emoji. But I think that was the brown emoji simply because the emoji itself has red hair. Well, I think that people have said that they've kind of transformed themselves into not just African Americans, but like the more mm-hmm. exotic, more big right. types of black girls. Listen, she 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 didn't had enough black DNA up in her to be black, so she can use whatever emotion she wants. I'm not that bad. I don't I care don't, what emotion she uses, but some yeah. people have a problem with it. I don't either. 
I feel like it was just a more of a drag. At the end of the day, aren't they like Persian or something? So like, isn't that like Middle Eastern? So wouldn't they technically yeah. be they're Arab they're Armenian? They're Armenian. Yeah. So, so like, yeah. yeah, they're Armenian. There's no such. And they're fair because their mom but is anyway, white. They're but their dad is a white like woman, Eastern, so I don't so. understand it. No, I'm saying them, but their mother is a European white. <laughs> that's not so their that's why they're lighter than <laughs> their <laughs> other Armenian. Counterparts. Tell the IMS. <laughs> yeah, you caught that Ryan. I got you. You talking about? I was like, uh, you talking I was like about to say that the, the the comments of Ryan Loomis is do not reflect how we feel over here. At <laughs> it wasn't Tony me this time. Tony. Uh, what? Tony, you're fired. Okay, you're fired expensive uh, ass I just, basement. <laughs> yeah, I just feel. I feel like. I just feel like it what was a like behind the reason. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just feel like it was, uh, I feel like it was just a reach, um, because like, I don't care. I don't care. Gay guys use the queen, the queen emoji. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like saying, oh, you're, you're, uh, you're a heavy set guy. Don't use the skinny guy emoji. Well, there's no fat emoji. So what do you want me to do? Like, yeah, we, we need, identify yourself well, however you see fit. I need a fat emoji. Yeah, I need I'm, some I'm fat I'm emoji. Start, start one. Design yeah, one. Y'all listening? <laughs> Please, I can't design a sandwich. Uh, but yeah, but I just feel like it was a reach. I feel like it's a reach. I feel like it's a Kardashian. Is there a who? Is there a beard emoji? Yeah, but it's like a small no. beard, like what, what Mike has. It's like a small, you know, it's a beginner beard, like Mike's. Whoa! <laughs> hey, come on! Man. Shots fired. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be today's episode. <laughs> 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 Real celebrities that are available to come oh, here. Real celebrities. Right let me know tonight. <laughs> wow! I'm done. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you guys for tuning in today's episode of Social Distractions, where we heard everybody feels, including Mike Nuzzles. And um, I'm gonna go cry because I thought I was doing something. But just, I got it lined up. I don't got no. I don't got none of that spray paint stuff on there. I was just rocking my natural. Beard, and he talking hey, about my beard ain't got no edges. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna, you know what? The hell with this outro. I'm out of here. The hell with this shit. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. All right, y'all. All right, okay. see. You.